students, coaches, teachers, and mentors, welcome to Best Robotics 2021 Competition Demo Days. When you have a copy of the slideshow, you will be able to use the link to the game animation prepared by Best Robotics. This year, we hope to return to the classic multi-team game format where four teams play each match in head-to-head -head competition on a competition game field. This shows what the game field layout will look like with the red team, green team, yellow team, and blue team competing on individual quadrants. This image shows a close-up of one game field quadrant. The quadrant includes the 10 by 10 game field, a driver box, 3 by 5, and a 3 by 5 spotter box. Note that we may rotate that spotter box around that corner so it's still adjacent to the robot start box to enhance social distancing. This indicates the location of the robot start box, which will be a 24 inch by 24 inch traditional robot start box. The start box is also the location for the trash pile. You can dispose many of the objects on the field in the trash pile to score points. Another way to score points is to store or put reusable or recyclable materials into the reuse and recycle boxes on the R&R trailer. One thing to note, please do not disturb the R&R trailer. The R&R trailer is considered disturbed if the tape line beneath the wheels of the tra trailer is completely visible from above at the end of the match. If you disturb the trailer any time during the match, you cannot put it back in position and no objects on the trailer will be scored. The R&R boxes can be removed from the trailer to score reusable and recyclable objects. This item is the air compressor located on the site. It is a valuable piece of site equipment that can be secured throughout the match in several ways. This object is the pipe bundle. It's one of the objects that can be reused. It's located at the beginning of the match in the autonomous zone, which is a three foot by three foot box taped on the floor. I'll talk about the autonomous zone and autonomous play a little bit later on. These two items are the trash dumpsters, where you can place trash items to score them you can also put in reusable or recyclable objects, but the points awarded for, for putting those items in a trash dumpster is less than if you put them in the R&R boxes or on the R&R trailer. The trash dumpsters cannot be disturbed. There are tape lines underneath the trash dumpsters. If those tape lines are completely visible at any point throughout the match, the trash dumpster is considered disturbed and none of the items disposed in that dumpster will score. This indicates the one foot by one foot off-site safe zone. Even though it's in the game field, it's considered off-site. And that is where one of the locations that you can store the air compressor to secure it. There are eight fence panels in the game field that you can use to build either a linear security fence or a closed polygon security fence. For example, you can use them to build a fence around the air compressor in its original location and score points that way. In the center of the field is the two-story building that needs to be demolished and moved from the work site. Also on the field are two trees that cannot be disturbed or knocked over. A tree is considered disturbed if the one inch by one inch piece of tape below the tree, centered below the tree, is completely visible at any point during the match. Unlike the other disturbed items, 
If you disturb a tree, it's a 20 second penalty. There are three lighting bases on the field. You can install lighting to improve site security and safety, but don't disturb the bases. There is a square tape beneath the lighting bases, and if any lighting base is moved or disturbed such that that tape is completely visible at some point during the match, then the installed lighting does not score. Finally on the field are six concrete blocks. These are trash to throw away either in the trash pile or the trash dumpster. The premise of the game is to determine how best robotics can aid in the complex and safety critical tasks on construction and demolition sites. The goal is to design a robot to accomplish these tasks. Demolish and move the building from the site. Install safety and security measures at the site. Separate and recover recyclable and reusable materials. Remove the trash from the site and recover and secure the air compressor. Let's take a closer look at the building demolition task. In the center of the field is the two-story building. Your job is to demolish the building and to place the trash items in the trash pile or the dumpsters and recycle the recyclable materials and put the reusable materials in one of the R&R bins. Nearby are two trees Again, don't disturb the trees or it's a 20 second penalty. Also in that area are the three light installation platforms. There are three light poles in the spotter box at the start of the match. To score a lighting installation, the spotter loads a light pole onto the robot and the robot must place the light pole in one of the installation platforms on the site. There are three installation platforms and three light poles. Some things to note. The driver must set down the joystick during the entire time that the spotter is interacting with the robot to load the light pole. Also, the robot must be in the start box before the spotter can interact with the robot. It doesn't need to be entirely in the starting box, but it does need to break the plane of the, of the starting box. So please read that rule. Also, please be aware that if the installation platform that you've put a light pole into is disturbed during installation or at any point during the match, then that installation does not score. So please make sure you understand what a disturbed platform is. The building itself is very fragile and will collapse easily. Inside the building, there are trash materials, including the insulation, which are cotton balls. The building walls, floor, and roof are also considered trash. Also inside the building are reusable materials, including the scrap tile and the scrap metal. You can use the cups to transport those reusable materials to the trailer. Finally, there are recyclable materials, including the copper wiring and the water pipe. Our disposal options begin with the trash dumpsters. There are two dumpsters located along the side of the field close to the driver. The dumpsters are on six inch tape lines. Please do not move the dumpsters off of those lines or they will be considered disturbed for just scoring purposes. You can place the following trash materials in the dumpsters, the building walls, floors, roof, insulation, and the cement blocks there are six cement blocks scattered around the site. Some of the materials on the site are valuable for reuse or recycling purposes. Your robot can move those materials to the recycling and reuse or R&R &R trailer. The trailer has a two axle wheelbase and on top of it, at the start of each match, are two removable containers. 
You can put the reuse materials in one, in one container and the recyclable materials in another container. The containers can stay on the two axle wheelbase or you can take the containers off of the trailer and use the trailer for the pipe bundle. It's important to only put one type of waste in each of the containers. The reusable materials would go in one container and those include the scrap metal in the building, the scrap tile in the building. The pipe bundle in the autonomous zone is also considered reusable material, but don't put it in this container. It will not score there. The recyclable materials include the copper wire in the building and the water pipe. They would go in a different of the removable containers than you put the reusable material. One important thing to remember is that you do not want to disturb the flatbed trailer. The flatbed trailer is considered disturbed if the tape line beneath one of the axles is completely visible from above during play. If you do disturb the trailer, none of the items on the trailer will score. The site security options include fence panels. There are eight panels. They are individual or independent panels and they are located just inside the game field next to the spotter and driver boxes. There are two steps to scoring the panels. First of all, you need to build a connected upright fence. A connected fence means that the fence panels must be placed in certain configurations and certain distances apart at the edges. Please read the rules carefully to understand what a connected or a connection for the fence panel is. Options include a straight barrier like the one shown um, along the edge of the site. So that would be similar to having a construction fence around a site. A second option is to build a closed polygon, which is what you see on the left side of the site where there's a closed polygon encircling the flatbed trailer. The air compressor is a valuable piece of equipment on the construction site. It starts across from the spotter on the far side of the field. There are three ways to score the air compressor by securing it. The first way is to move the air compressor off site to the safe zone by the driver. The second is to have the air compressor lifted off the ground by the robot at the end of the match. So the robot acts a bit like a lift that secures valuable equipment on, on construction sites. The, the third option is to enclose the compressor inside a closed polygon of fencing. The pipe bundle is considered reusable materials. It is located in the autonomous zone, which is on the far side of the field from the driver. Scoring possibilities include the robot retrieves the pipe bundle from the starting position. The robot places the pipe bundle on the R&R flatbed trailer. Note the boxes can be removed to do this and make this task a little bit easier. There's a scoring bonus if after placing the pipe bundle on the trailer, the trailer is considered balanced. That means that neither of the trailer edges is touching the ground at the end of the match. So the whole load is balanced on the two wheels underneath the trailer. Note that moving the pipe bundle from the autonomous zone can be done autonomously and scores points. The following slides explain the scoring opportunities for this game. And there are many and they're very complicated. So make sure your spotters and drivers know all of the scoring possibilities for each of the items. We'll start with the items that are considered trash. There are six cement blocks on the game field. They score two points each if you can place them in the trash pile, but they score five points if you can place them in a dumpster that isn't disturbed during the match. The maximum score per team should they place all six cement blocks in the dumpster is 30 points. 
There are six pieces of insulation in the building. They are worth three points each if you place them in the trash pile, but they are worth 10 points if you can place them in a dumpster that isn't disturbed. The maximum score, therefore, is 60 points if all six are placed in the dumpster by the end of the match. There are eight building walls on the game field. They are worth seven points if you can place them in the trash pile, but 15 if you successfully place them in a dumpster. Therefore, the maximum score for putting all eight building walls in the dumpster is 120 points. But again, be careful and make sure you don't tip over or disturb, otherwise disturb the dumpster. The building floors and roof, there are three of these pieces on the game field. They are worth 15 points in the trash pile, 30 points placed in a dumpster. The maximum score, therefore, is 90 points if all three are placed in a dumpster. This is the scoring matrix for the reusable and recyclable items. There are 25 pieces of scrap metal found in the red container in the building. Each piece placed in the trash pile is worth a point. Each piece of scrap metal placed in the dumpster is worth two points. Each piece of scrap metal placed in the reusable container, so one of the boxes on that trailer, is worth four points. Note that the scrap metal has to be placed in a container. You can't just place it on the trailer without placing it in that R&R box. The maximum possible score for scrap metal is 100 points if all 25 pieces are placed in an R&R container. For scrap tile, there are three pieces of scrap tile per team. Again, those are also in those red containers. Placing one piece of scrap tile in a trash pile is worth five points. It's worth 10 points in the dumpster and 40 points in the R&R container for reusable materials. The maximum score for scrap tile is 120 points if all three pieces are placed successfully in an R&R container. The pipe bundle, there's one of those on the game field. Notice it's not scored if you put it into the trash pile. If you put it into the, one of the dumpsters, it's worth 50 points. There's no score if you try to put that pipe bundle in one of the R&R containers. However, if you remove those containers from the trailer and put the pipe bundle on the trailer, that's 100 points, which is the max score for that game element. The copper wire recyclable game element. There are six of those in the building. Each one is worth four points placed in the trash pile, seven points placed in the dumpster, but 20 points if you place those in the recyclable container. The maximum score if you place all six of those in the recycling container is 120 points. There are eight pieces of water pipe in the building. Each one scores three points placed on the trash pile, four points placed in a dumpster, and 13 points placed in the recycling container. The maximum score is 104 points. The security devices include fence panel and light poles. There are eight fence panels but you can only make seven connections with those eight panels because a connection requires two fence panels to be placed in a certain configuration at a certain distance. The points per connection is 10 and the maximum score per team is 70 points. The light pole, there are three of them in the spotter box at the beginning of the game. They're worth 75 each for a correct installation without disturbing the base. The total is 225 points if you install all three successfully. For the air compressor, there's one per team and there are three scoring locations. If it's placed in the safe zone at the end of the game, it's worth 20 points. 
lifting it at least one and a half inches off the ground by the end of the game is worth 40 points and this is the only time when the robot can be in contact with the game piece to score it. Finally, if it is surrounded or secured with the fencing, it's worth 60 points. Autonomous mode involves using an autonomous play to remove the pipe bundle from its initial location inside the, the autonomous zone to outside that zone. There's one pipe bundle per team and a successful autonomous mode retrieval is worth 120 points. Finally, there are some amazing bonus scoring opportunities in this game. The first one is the trailer balancing bonus, which doubles the score of the items that are scored on the trailer. A trailer is balanced when its only contact with the game field is through the two tires underneath the trailer. Neither edge of the trailer platform is touching the field. The autonomous retrieval bonus doubles the score of the pipe bundle if it scores on the trailer and a team successfully retrieved it from the autonomous zone in autonomous mode. So in addition to receiving the autonomous mode points, you get the autonomous retrieval bonus if you then place that successfully on the trailer. Finally, there's the closed polygon fencing bonus, which doubles the score of each fencing connection for a closed polygon around the trailer. Good luck teams and enjoy this year's Best Robotics Demo Days game. Please make sure you understand all of the rules for playing the game, the requirements for your robot, and all of the scoring opportunities, including any of the complex combinations. If you have questions, feel free to ask them at the Q&A session later today.